How many years uh, have you worked on sea and uh, why did you decide to spend much of your life on ships as a captain? I've worked in the offshore oil and gas industry or in a professional capacity at sea for the last 12 years now. Uh, I started as a cadet and worked my way up to attain captain's qualification. I've always had an attraction to the sea and moving into the shipping industry gave me an opportunity to combine a passion with a way of earning money. I'm uh, from Australia. I live in the west coast of Australia in a town called Margaret River. I grew up in South Africa and my family immigrated to Australia after I finished my high school in South Africa. How many ships have you worked on so far and uh, how many of them are offshore vessels? I probably worked on a large variety of vessels, maybe about 15 to 18 different ships and uh, I've been captain on three different offshore vessels, supply ships and anchor handlers combined. Uh, did you participate in sea trials of this ship? Yes, I did participate in the last sea trials. It's a very good opportunity to get to know your vessel and its capabilities from the start, uh, find its shortcomings and make sure everything works as it's supposed to. Uh, this sort of vessels has got a, a very large am amount of equipment on them and it's uh, very important to verify that everything uh, works the way it should. So when you start your new contract, you're uh, confident in its capabilities. Look, I think it's a fantastic ship. Um, these days there is a very big emphasis on using technology to, to attain a, a, the, the, the jobs that the vessel's got to do. The crews are becoming small, smaller and um, yeah, you have to rely on technology to, to do um, the same work with a lot less people. It is a good thing, but uh, you've got to make sure all your equipment is well maintained and work as it should the whole time. Okay, but when comparing uh, this particular ship to, to the older ones, traditionally powered, are there any differences in operation, in, in some features maybe? Yes, for sure. So this is a, a dual fuel vessel. Um, the whole emphasis on the, is on the clean design and uh, the main operation would be on LNG. Um, so this is sort of the future of fuel. It cuts down on your emissions and you also eliminate um, toxic emissions like sulfur and nitric oxides, which is uh, greatly beneficial to the environment and uh, your carbon footprint and greenhouse gas emissions. like her? I do, it's a very beautiful vessel, uh, she's got some sexy lines and uh, yeah, no, it's a, it's a very good looking ship. Which particular lines are so sexy? <laughs> the, the curvy ones. <laughs> This 
also be the very first LNG supply vessel to work in Australia. So it's a, it's a big milestone for the industry, uh, the local companies, uh, Woodside is sort of pioneering it, combined with CM Offshore and uh, it's also the new industry being built by Rematoa Shipbuilding. So it, it, they, they are at the forefront of pioneering this, this industry and bringing out this type of ships into the industry. It's a very exciting time because we, we're getting in ground floor with us and everyone is uh, motivated and excited to uh, prove this sort of technology and, and make it work in the field. Okay, so the ship is currently chartered to an offshore oil and gas company, Woodside, and it's on a five-year contract and we will be supplying cargo and provisions to a lot of their fixed infrastructure on the northwest shelf of Australia. So there's a variety of fixed platforms and FPSOs. Uh, the vessel would be on a set weekly run, taking uh, provisions and supplies out to this infrastructure.